welcome to another process video. I'm going to be doing some slow stitching today. I'm going to be making a fabric journal. It's nice and simple and it's use what you have and also using some delicious little scraps of fabric you might have, have saved up. I've even got from the little cuttings out a little mini fabric journal to tuck in there too. So let me show you how, how I created this. It all started when Nikki gave me this bag of biscuits. It's made of hessian so, and it has a drawstring. And I thought, oh, I'm going to make a journal to fit in this bag. So I made myself a little template here. How big is this? This is four by four by four by six. Four inches by six inches. Sorry, Flo. Good job you didn't have tea in there. We'll have tea soon. So that's just to make sure it's going to fit in there. So I love that bag. There we are. So I'm going to use a mixture of fabrics. This, this is upholstery fabric. This was in a bag from Auntie Jennifer. And then I've got various. Here's a leg from Jeans. Now you can make your fabric journal all from the same fabric. Let's see, I might have to trim that one. Oh, I will. Ooh, unless that comes in there like that to make a pocket. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll pin that. So that one's going to be a bit longer. So I would sew there. So that's a pocket. Oh, lovely. Pop that in that bag. This journal here, doesn't matter if the pages are quite thin because this one I made, it, this was a needle case sent to me from Linda and the pages are wool and they're quite thin, but it still seemed to make, and thin and floppy, but I just so enjoyed creating and making this journal. My latest one, the hexy one that I haven't decided on, that's got how to pin it all together. That's got various different fabrics for pages. It's a case of use what you've got, I think. Oh, now I've got, oh. This is a napkin. Oh, lovely. When I was living at my mum and dad's looking after them and in High Wycombe for a while, I I used these cloth napkins I used to make hearts of love. There's not many much of it left now. So that makes that makes a nice page or threads. <laughs> so we've got the denim that shall I make let's see I've got some wadding here. Was, is that enough to make a cover? Hmm. It's going to be a little smaller, but I could put edges on it. Now, with something like the wadding is lovely because you can sew and make it quite quilty. I think if you have different size pages and different fabrics. I think it's quite inspiring. Oh, I know. I could patch this together to make it the right size. Let's do that. I would like it to be that size. So I'm just going to cut down here.
and across there. There we are. And that will make it, I'll pin that. Patching it together to make it the right size. These little leftovers of the wadding come in very handy for stuffing. So I will save all those bits. And that bit's enough. I can make a heart of love from that one. I think one more page. This is upholstery material from Linda. Let's wool. Let's cut this. I'm just trimming the pages down a little to make them fit into this cover. Ah, oh, don't forget to take a little breath. One, two, three, four, and the denim one with the pocket in the middle. So I will sew that up now, or you could just pin it so you could take the pages out individually to play with. But I think I'm going to sew it together later. What I'm going to do is gather some bits and pieces, make a tray up for slow stitching and fill the cover front and back with some deliciously relaxing slow stitching. A cup of tea flow. It's always nice to look at other people's creative areas. Ah. Oh. Mm. Lovely, lovely knitting bag there. Gorgeous. Lovely furniture. Mm. It's always fun to choose a bag or a tray to fill with treasures to create with, isn't it? Little robin tray. I will need scissors and, oh, I'll take the bag as well. The cover. I will need my little pin cushion and some threads. Mm. Flo, have you gathered some bits and pieces together too? You're going to work in your slow stitch journal. Oh, they were from Majala, were they? Oh, how lovely. Well, you all enjoy doing a bit of stitching, won't you? ready all i need now is a nice cup of tea and a nice cozy cozy chair oh we're back from our walk and it's just time to sit down with a nice cup of tea and gently do some slow stitching little scraps and popping them in in there mm. my table yes it is logs i don't think what tree i think it's an oak tree one of the places ben was doing some work with gave them to us we brought them inside to dry and season slowly but we've just been polishing it and using it as a table as is. We were thinking we were going to make something, but we quite like it how it is. Got this little scrap and I'm going to fold it over the edge. You don't have to do this. This is just what I'm, I'm doing. There is no right or wrong and I'm leaving all the edges raw, raw edges. But look. There we are. So it's got a nice colourful edge to the piece. So there we are. Fold it over and I'm just doing any stitch goes up and then down. Just, just a way of 
relaxing really. Oh, Freddie's breathing gently by my side here. Oh. Any stitch goes, big or small. This is great for beginners. Or for great for those people that have been sewing all their life and have plenty of scraps. Hmm. I'll take a sip of tea. Oh, lovely. I've got my favourite jumper on. You like that? You have favourite jumpers. Oh, it's the post lady, Freddie. Here's my cover. So, yeah, all the stitches on the background and it's folded over. Oh, it's been a joy, an absolute joy to add the pieces. No, no rhyme or reason, really. I've just been picking them out of my bag. Which ones come to hand first? And yeah, Flo gave me this little piece. And then just slotting them in really. Gently slow stitching. I use a chenille needle. It's got a big eye. I was recommended it and given some by by Linda. They've got a big eye and a sharp point. Because going through some of the like the wadding or the denim, you, you need that. So literally just sewing really. I've got some little, it reminds you of all the projects you've done in the past and oh, I love it. Let's get, but there's a little gap. I just get a button and let's sew it on. Oh, wonderful to use this vintage button. It's lovely. It's this little plastic one. I love the colour, so gorgeous. Let's come up here. And I've added, oh, I've just added one button, but I'm definitely going to be adding more. Oh, it looks so lovely on there. Oh, lovely. Now, at this stage, you can you can just keep your pages loose so you can take them away and work on them so they're very portable or you might want to put your journal together the choice is yours there is no right or wrong right way to do it really um it, yeah, it just depends how i feel i think because this is so cute, I would like to sew my pages in now. So what I'm just, any, any stitch goes, I'm just going to go in the middle. You can use your machine. These, oh, these Chanel needles. Wow, that has gone through all those layers. I've got the rough middle here. I'm not doing any, any particular stitch I'm just going in and out a few times because I can I'll be coming in and out and adding and oh lovely I'm just going to I'm just going to do that really it's almost like I've tacked it together that's actually maybe a good idea so if you wanted to you could change your mind and take a page out to work on. There we are. Oh, I just, I just wanted to see it made. Out of all the little scraps where I 
tore the pages out, where I cut, cut the pages, wouldn't these make a lovely journal? Oh, I think I'm going to make a mini journal. That's a lovely cover because it's like got this secret bit here where the, oh yes, so I can just, oh yes, snip some pages. Oh, lovely. There's a little bit for owl bag. Tuck that in there. He's, he's here. Find the centre roughly and sew that together. And I'm going to keep this little journal, mini fabric journal, in with this journal, maybe in the pocket so I can add tiny little bits. Do you think Flo is going to find it? She might do, but she does have some slow stitch mini journals she's working on. I always love to play in, play in miniature. Mm. That said, there I have a little scrappy mini fabric journal with the denim cover to go in the denim pocket. Look at that, already bulky. I love it. Oh, lovely. And it's good to go in the bag here. Oh, look, I'm, oh, I'm sewing. I'm sewing. It's rough edged by. Thank you, Colin. It's rough edged bias. Just little scraps. I'm going round the edge and I'll probably sew other things on here. Kept the little tag, lemon biscuits. Let's see if it fits in. Oh, it does. Even if I had to squash it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh. oh, I think we'll have a nice cup of tea together, shall we? Hmm. I've got one of the, I've got the last of the lemon biscuits here. They've been delicious. Are they good dunkers? Let me see if I've dunk it in my tea. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Chilly but sunny day today. Mm. Uh, Flo and I have both got our ponchos on. Mm. Have you been sewing with the scraps? Uh, oh, yes, you have the little pieces of fabric that Majala sent you. Oh. Can I see what you've been doing here? Oh, I love it. Your fabric journal. Gorgeous. Have you got, what's your cover like? Oh, your cover's like a little mishmash of little scraps as well. Oh, oh, I love that flow. You've just pieced them all together. So beautiful, so simple. And I love the heart button. That's beautiful, Flo. Thank you for sharing that. I'm going to continue sewing in this lovely journal. And I'm going to add, I'm going to make my one. You can, you can do yours, any theme or just random, random sewing. I, this one, I'm going to make into a Christmas journal. So I've got some lovely bits and pieces that people have sent me over Christmas. And I'm going to be sewing those in there and some charms and the fabric Christmas cards that were sent to me. I'm going to gently take those off. One would look nice on the front of the bag actually. 
Mm. I'm going to gently take those off and sew those, sew those into the journal. And then when that's, when I've done that, I will pop it away till next year. And there will be plenty of pages left to do some more Christmassy slow stitch next year. So it'll be all ready for me. <laughs> ah, lovely. Hmm. I was given this last year by Irene. Yes, and it, it's a container for the candles. Isn't it lovely? And eventually I will make it into a journal. Beautiful, Irene. Thank you. Hmm. When we light the candles, just just um, approach it how you feel comfortable. It's just a little bit of peaceful time, really. You can think about all the people that are on your heart as well. delicious mm. thank you for joining us take care bye There. The little birds. I don't know. Oh, it's even got some one little berry on it. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, how funny. All wrapped up in my, in my scarf, my knitted scarf. Ready and go! <laughs> oh! <laughs>